And closer to home, Rhode Island lawmakers are poised to vote on a handful of gun control bills later this week. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish is live in our studio. She has a preview for us now. Kayla. Hey, good morning, Danielle. Well, the House Judiciary Committee is the one that's going to be voting on three gun control bills tomorrow. It's the latest step in the ongoing and often heated debate over gun control legislation in Rhode Island, and it comes after two rallies last week on either side of the issue. When is enough enough? When are we going to decide that mass shootings are not part of the fabric of our nation? The time to pass common sense gun legislation is now. Now that was from last Tuesday with lawmakers and supporters of gun safety legislation urging the state to take action. The bills that the House Judiciary Committee will be voting on tomorrow include a ban on high capacity magazines that contain more than 10 rounds of ammunition. Another bill would make it illegal to openly carry a loaded rifle or shotgun in public. And the third would raise the age to buy a gun or ammunition from 18 to 21. Now during a separate rally last week, Second Amendment supporters said these bills are not the answer. They tell 12 News school safety and access to mental health resources should be the priority. And I think that if we start working on those types of programs and more programs for kids at a younger age that instead of them growing up to have these type of social problems that maybe we would that would help us to prevent these from ever happening. And I think that that's a that would be a better investment for us. Now, the Senate Judiciary Committee is scheduled to take up the same bills next week. In response to news of tomorrow's vote, Governor Dan McKee tweeted, quote, it's time for action. Pass these bills. I'm ready to sign, end quote. Live in studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.